Hey guys, welcome to RPA Feed, and in today's session, we'll be covering Bot Assistant plugin. So this is uh, this plugin has been developed by Sumit Kumar, and it's really helpful for your bot development and code review kind of activities. So we'll see uh, the plugin in detail. So in order to uh, access this plugin, you can directly visit to this link. I'll have this link in the description section. Uh, of this video and you can add it to your Chrome browser currently it's only supports Chrome browser as this is being developed for Chrome so and remember bot assistant plugin only works when you are signed in to your Chrome account and it does not work in incognito mode okay so yeah you can it's a simple installation you can directly visit and just say add to chrome it will be download uh, it will be added to your chrome then you can uh, visit to the bot uh, bot window but before that let us sign in um, otherwise it won't work so in order to use this plugin we have already added it here and you just need to navigate to the a360 bot whichever bot you want help with or you are working on that uh, to that bot window you can uh, navigate so currently for the for just for example I am I have taken this hello world bot which has just two statements one message box and one close window close statement so uh, let me click on this bot assistant as soon as I click on this uh, there is a pop-up window which says a360 bot assistant over here I have the collapse option wherein you just get this view and here we have the refresh view we can refresh um, uh, the plugin so if you add some more lines and if you want to refresh it so you can refresh it and then we have a settings icon wherein we'll, we'll come to that part later first let me um, highlight this so the assistant have identified six issues three which are categorized as best practices and two are the actions that you must take and one is for variable so variable in variable it says constant variable mapping not capitalized so we have like in this tool default uh, uh, some rules have been set set for variable naming convention uh, and other things so it is highlighting like constant variable name is not capitalized so it should be capitalized then we have message box so in production version of your bot or uh, or the final version of your bot which you mean to check in uh, there should not be any message box right so it is asking like message box is not removed then the close window command is outside of uh, try and catch block so these are the actions we need to take in order to uh, as a part of our code review or best practices uh, 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 terminologies so in best practice it says try catch is missing from your bot section we should include try catch and then comment is missing step is missing so these are the part of uh, best practices you can collapse and toggle between these and then let's go to settings so in settings you can see uh, three categories best practices actions and variables so in best practices currently these are the ones that are considered as best practice and if you you can toggle between these settings if you do not want let's say step as a mandatory so you can uncheck this and save it so then the, the assistant will not check for if, if your bot do not have this step uh, action it will it will not uh, notify or it will not mark that as a mandatory the, uh, uh, and if you want to skip other checks as well like comment section or uh, I won't say uh, uh, that that is not a, a good practice like you, you should have comments you should have each and everything which is mentioned over here as part of your best practices along with these two so your bot should have maximum 300 lines of code if you if you want to minimize this you can do that you can update this number to uh, whatever number you like 
but yeah as a standard we follow 300 lines of code and maximum number of variables per task currently it's configured to 50 uh, you can minimize that or maximize that as per your wish so let's include this and then in actions section we have empty containers disallowed like if you have included try catch blocks but there is nothing inside that or you have included step but there is no command or no action inside step so that check will also be done so you can remove those from your code a, a disable action disallowed message box disallowed so currently uh, in our example we have seen right message box uh, needs to be removed that that message was highlighted that message was popped up so it was due to this that these rules are being uh, mapped in the plugin so from here we can these are all configurable uh, we can check and uncheck depending on the need uh, of our project and then we can go to variable section where non-constant variable with hard-coded values disallowed constant variable with lowercase letter in name disallowed so constant if you are declaring constant variables it should be uppercase and, and uh, there should not be any hard-coded uh, variables so these two checks are being performed then variable name cannot be of uh, two characters it should be always more than two and you can specify that uh, this is again a configurable item again over here variable name should match this regex pattern output variable should match this pattern like it should start from i it should start from o input output should start from io and a regular type variable name should match this regex pattern which is not input or nor output so you can play around with these settings and as per your organization level uh, or whatever you decide uh, best practice for your uh, particular project rpa project uh, you can uh, you can accordingly add or define these values and then finally click on save so this is how and you can use it and let's say uh, we try to add one more thing for example let's say we add delay over here okay so i have added delay right. Let, let's try to add try catch block now so in try catch block and let us include everything inside try and in catch let's have this message box so now we should see some changes in the issues so again it is saying missing try catch error handling because we haven't saved it let's save it and refresh it so one issue got uh, fixed so we have now comments missing let us try to include comment so in comment here we will say test bot that's it and now let's refresh this bot assistant it says best in best practices we have just missing steps okay that's fine then in actions we have comment that is outside of try catch block we have no comments for internal commands or internal actions there, there we can add that command and we have introduced delay that is a hard-coded value so it is highlighting uh, the hard-coded delay found then we have message boxes and the window error still exists so we can uh, this this seems to be like not uh, you might have finding it not very helpful here because we just have five to six lines of uh, code right in this but in in real time project the lines can go 300 lines and in the in the uh, project you can have multiple such bot files so in that case this assistant is really helpful it it will speed up your code review process and it will help you to eliminate the issues and follow the standard best practice for development so hope you like this video in case you do please feel free to subscribe to our channel and share this video and thanks for watching